So Lily Eigelhart, Cal Bowman, and Adam Groff, come to the stage, please. Why Cal? I don't like this. I don't like this. I am a slovenly troublemaker. A little louder, please. <laughs> this is fucked up. Sit down, Jackson. No, it is fucked up. One, two, three, fuck it. Hello guys, hello everybody, welcome back, I am Anna, and today we're gonna be reacting to the sixth episode of the third season of Sex Education. Before we begin today, do not forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons, and if you like my content and you wanna support the channel, you can do it by becoming a patron. For just one dollar per month, you will have access to full uncut reaction videos and movie reactions. If you like my content, you can also support me by buying me a coffee or making a one-time donation via PayPal. All of this is gonna be in the description box down below. So, this shit just got really, really good. We have um, Maeve and Otis kind of something going on there, even though that Maeve is with Isaac sort of as well. There's nothing really established here, but with the cat out of the bag, um, Otis is not really holding any resentment towards Maeve and there's hopeful there's hope in his eyes when he looks at her now I I loved last episode the talk between the two of them it was beautiful it was goddamn beautiful I hope they can work this out <laughs> I don't necessarily ship it but I don't I just want the best for Maeve Although I am, right now, I'm not sure what that is. Um, and also what I really want is for her, is for her and Amy to make up. But because it's killing me, it's killing me that they fought last episode. I, I just cannot with that. I cannot survive like this. I need them to be friends again, to be good and to love each other. I, I need that. Eric is in Uganda, so that's gonna be fun, another field trip just with him. <laughs> so let's see all the shenanigans that he has for us today, because I'm sure it's gonna be plenty. So, let's watch this. But she likes it. What's with the cape, Lily? I like writing stories. Well, maybe keep them to yourself. <laughs> By the way, that actress for Lily is spot on. Spot on. The casting in this show has been unbelievable. Adam and Mr. Groff? Are you kidding? They're the same person. Are you fucking kidding me? So this one has a longer labia, which is really common. This one's all tucked in. With pubes, without pubes. Over the cupcake. Oh. I had a big fight with my best friend Maeve and I'm feeling really sad about it. But also, like, I want to punch her in the face. What is it? I just got into the Gifted and Talented program. I can't <laughs> believe it. Hey, that... Who's a Mecca? No one. Eh? You were engaged. engaged. Okay, girls. Mm -hmm. Time... And how did that make you feel? Like an idiot. Because she's probably right. She didn't have to say it in such a mean way. And why do you think she's right? Because it's true. I hate fights. I hate making people feel bad. So I just lie and tell them what they want to hear. Which is why I probably won't break up with Steve. And why I had such awful friends for so many years. Has nothing to do with your smile or your personality and is only about him. I mean, I did tell her to get over herself and be with Otis, but I think I have a point. It's like they're clearly in love with each other. And yes, he's been a bit of an arsehole, but he's apologised a lot. How was he an arsehole? Oh, he looks great. Lord Vanon unsheathed his throbbing cockrod, ploughing Princess Sandor all night long. <laughs> Is there too much power in multiple otherness for you? 
Why are we in the paper again? And why have I been fielding complaints from parents telling me their children went on a school trip which involved missing students and human feces? They said no. Yeah. I'm so sorry, Maeve. Hopefully your family can find the money. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. He didn't do anything, I swear. But actually, every vulva is unique and beautiful and deserves to be cherished. Cherish it. Cherish it. What, we should just forget about her? I think so. Take me now, Lord Vanon. <laughs> yes. So Lily Eigelhart, Cal Bowman and Adam Groff, come to the stage, please. Why call? I don't like this. I don't like this. I am a sovereignly troublemaker. A little louder, please. <laughs> this is fucked up. Sit down, Jackson. No, it is fucked up. I don't think my story was dirty. Then why is everyone laughing at you? Dirty and disgusting words which have brought shame on my peers. It says that you are unhygienic because what you did in France was filthy and put your peers at risk. No one is to speak to these students. And you will not be allowed to remove your sign until I say so. What the fuck? Your mum took Elsie for a walk at a visitation, but she didn't come back. I think she's kidnapped her. What? <laughs> I've got a girlfriend, Eric. Uh, he has Eric got doesn't a... have time for girlfriends. You. You, why are you not smiling? You're ruining my picture. Thank you for dropping Mail off. Well, you know, I'm gonna come and help too. She didn't seem distracted. Yes, did she see you on edge at all? How about I ask the questions, boys? Hmm? How did Erin seem this morning? <laughs> Something happened between you guys on the trip then? I think you should go. I don't want to see you anymore. Me. So I assume it was also you who made the photocopies last term? Yes, it was. I keep reading the things Maureen said about me to you. And I think they're all true. I asked you to keep an eye on your peers during this trip. When I first met you, I thought, this girl's going somewhere. You know, she's driven, she's focused. I want you to make a presentation to the press and to prospective students on our upcoming open day. Even after this? Yes, you're our head girl. And having a strong, smart, young woman of color leading the way shows how progressive we are as a school. So it's about how it looks? Of course it is. Oh, this is gonna explode. Why would I want to come and listen to a bunch of teenagers whinging on about their insignificant problems for an hour? No, thank you. I've had quite enough of this navel-gazing, identity-obsessed hysteria for one day. The quicker you and your fragile, petty little peers realize that you're not that special, and that the real world doesn't care about your supposed issues, the better. She went into the real villain real quick. What do you do that makes you feel joy? However, in your case, Michael, masturbation might not be such a bad idea. <laughs> Is this about Maeve? I've never told you about Maeve. Jealousy can make us act out of character and say things we don't mean. Was there another boy on the scene? You're, you're doing it! Again! You push every man you come into contact with away. 
But you literally suck at relationship. Shit. Shit indeed. He doesn't have his phone. Are they allowed to do that? To take your phone away for a whole as week? Like a straight week? When you go home and all, you you cannot take your phone back? Like what kind of I've had quite enough of this navel-gazing, identity-obsessed hysteria for one day. The quicker you and your fragile, petty little peers realize that you're not that special. Do not fuck with teenagers. I've had quite enough of this navel-gazing. I'm Eric. Because I know I'll never have this for myself. Do you know what I mean? I know what you mean. I'm trying to write a poem for Eric, and I thought you could help me. <laughs> you want me to help you write a poem for my ex-boyfriend? Forget it. Let me see the poem. I love complicated relationships. Have I told you that? Have I? I love them. Eric. You make me smile. Read out loud. I want to hear it. I'm a gas person. Of course you are. <laughs> oh yeah. Take me to my people then. Eat some my little bit sweat. <laughs> You'll see. No, sorry. Where did you go before? I was checking escape routes. Escape? I've got you. It's okay. I'm scared. I miss going out to dance so much. Oh, why? The big girl, I know you want to deep ride. But every night she says she just want to climb on it. Two times, two times, two times. One time, oh, 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 I was worried. Uh. Adam's email. You let me know when you get yourself a girlfriend. Actually, mommy, mm -hmm. Eric is dating someone. I told him not to tell you until he knew it was serious. One, Eric two, really needs three, to stop cheating four, on his boyfriends. I kind of missed Ruby in this episode. We've had it all over the place this season and I, I miss her face. Hope. Yeah. No. She... Damn, it's a, it's a really hard position. Because I understood her at the beginning of the season. I understood her need and her desire to turn things around in the school. And to, like, make the reputation better. And to also... Um, I thought that she was in there to help the students and to make it a better school for everybody. Um, yeah, no, she 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 went out of the line completely, and now it just seems like she doesn't care about teenagers at all. And as somebody who works closely with them and it's in charge of them, that's horrible. So I'm curious to see what everybody is gonna do about that. Um, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be really interesting and that audio, that was golden. That bit, it was golden. Good for Viv to realize that she was being played and manipulated and it was just not, just not a good situation to be in. And she's a teenager, like she's a kid. You could see from miles away the situation between Maeve and Otis and Isaac. That's just so complicated and I think that maybe from all of them, all of them have done, done something wrong. I think that Otis and Maeve are not ready to just be in a relationship, in a good healthy relationship. As um, Maeve said, Otis is still very selfish and as Amy said, uh, Maeve just keeps pushing everybody uh, that cares about her away 
and she doesn't accept help at all from anybody. So at this point, I'm just rooting for them to stop the, the fucking drama. I know that Otis and Maeve, that's always gonna be a kind of Rose and Rachel kind of thing. Will they, won't they? They love each other, they hate each other. It's always kind of a missed opportunity between each other and it's classic TV, let's just say it right out there, it's classic TV and they have us all hooked in season one. We have a couple of episodes more left, so let's see where this is taking us. Um, but so far I've been really happy with this season. I think the first two are more solid than this one, but this is, this is still really good. So this was it for today's video, I hope you liked it, thank you very much for joining me today, have a great day and I will be seeing you around.